Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Smug Mug Live. I'm Alistair Jolly, your host as always. Uh, this episode is episode 119. We're streaming live on Thursday the 14th of April 2022. To all of you tuning in, thank you so much for joining me today. I know it's been several weeks since we last did one of these uh, live streams, but I got some new things to show you today. So uh, I wanted to jump on the live stream and give you an insight into some of the new features we have on Smug Mug. As always, Smug Mug Live is brought to you by Smug Mug and Flickr. If you're looking for somewhere to showcase your work online with an incredible photo website, to have incredible storage of all your uh, images, including RAWs now with uh, Smug Mug Source, or you're looking for an e-commerce solution to sell your images, then please check out everything we do here at smugmug.com. And if you're looking to be part of an incredible photo community to share your passion, share your work, be inspired and motivated, then check out all the work we do at flickr.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. This probably won't be too long an episode, but I've uh, got a few things I want to show you today. As always, it's great to see uh, some of you live there in the chat. Uh, let's give a sh shout out to Steve, who's joining us from uh, Washington State. Hi, Steve. Thank you for joining. Uh, and Mike's with us uh, from Cincinnati in Ohio. Thank you, Mike, for joining us. Hi, John. It's been a while uh, since we said hello to John uh, in the dog pound. Thank you for joining us today, John. Uh, feel free to get in that chat window uh, give yourself a shout out say hello let us know what part of the world you're joining us from and of course if you have any questions uh, post them in there chat amongst yourselves uh, whatever you want to do I uh, see you all coming in thick and fast now hi Daryl how you doing thank you for joining from Lexington Michael's joining us from Georgia on uh, Facebook uh, we're streaming live to YouTube and Facebook so, of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell notification. That way you'll be notified whenever we release another episode here on Smug Mug Live. And, of course, hit that thumbs up button that really helps spread the word about the channel. If you're watching us on Facebook, then, of course, like uh, our page on Facebook and keep up to date with everything from there. Uh, Anne is joining us from New Jersey. Hi, Anne. Thanks for joining in. Uh, Julian is joining us from Las Vegas and Claudio is in Ho Ohio, so very American audience uh, today, so uh, hopefully we get some folks from uh, other parts of the world joining us as we, as we talk through this show, but as I say, it's not going to be long, so let me stop rambling, uh, I always get told off in the chat window for talking too much, um, so let me get into this demonstration today. And of course, I'm going to work on uh, the demo sites that we have. So, you know, many of you will be familiar with uh, the demo sites that I work on to showcase various different parts of our product. And I have three things I want to show you today. So the first thing uh, is uh, a new feature that we have called uh, Add from Library feature. So over various episodes, I've shown the ability to create a gallery on your site by adding images into a gallery. I've also shown you the photo library where um, all your images live. So we now have this new feature that if you're on a gallery uh, in the organizer, so let's dive into the organizer here on this site. Um, so whenever I'm on an actual gallery within the organizer here, I'm going to choose this gallery here called um, Landscapes. So if I click on the Landscapes gallery, here we are in the organizer. We can see all the images that we have uh, uploaded into this gallery. Um, and I've shown you various different ways to upload images. So go back to the uh, previous episodes if you want to see some of that information. But we now have this new feature at the top here. Let me zoom in. This new add from library feature. And it's just a new way, a new additional way to get uh, images into a gallery that you're looking at here in the organizer. So uh, I'm in this organizer and it's a landscape gallery and I have a new image that I want to add to this uh, gallery, which I know is already on my Smug Mug account. So it will be living in my library. So if I click on that new button, add from library, no surprise, it takes me to my library. My library shows me all the images I have uploaded on Smug Mug all the images that we've uploaded, we have in galleries, 
images that we've maybe auto uploaded from um, our iPhones, smartphones, from our desktop uploader. Every image that I have on my Smug Mug account is in the library. Now this is a demo site, so it doesn't have too many images in it. Um, but these images here have actually come from my iPhone. And what I want to do is add this new one that got auto uploaded from my iPhone. I want to add that to that new landscape uh, gallery. So all I have to do is click on the little uh, round addition button. Uh, I can, of course, uh, choose multiple images to upload. Here I've chosen three. Uh, if I don't want to add one, I can just remove it again. So you can just toggle on and off if we want to upload these images. And then simply go to the top right hand side of the page where it says done. Click on done and it says three items will be added to the landscape gallery. Click OK. And it is adding those images and... There we go, we can see these new images down here in the bottom of uh, this gallery of landscapes that have now been added simply by using the new add from library toggle button in the organizer. Now, something I want to point out, if I can zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that there's this little kind of shortcut arrow type feature logo on these images. This is telling me that these images are collected images. So they live in a different gallery. These ones live in my auto upload gallery that comes from my iPhone. This little arrow tells me that they will show in this gallery. They will show in this gallery of landscapes to people viewing this gallery online. But the actual original image lives in a different um a different main gallery and of course when we add them to the organizer they're added at the end of all the other images and of course you can just simply grab one and move its position around and put these in a an order that you maybe want them to show at on your site now if i go here and say click on view on site it will take me to that gallery and you can see that these new images are now on that gallery visible to um, anybody who's who's looking at this gallery. And this is a new image of one of my favourite parts of the world. This is Glencoe in Scotland, just taken at the weekend. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, the new add from library feature. And again, you will find that when you're in the organiser. So if you click on the organise tab and then open any of your galleries... And when you open this gallery, you will see add from library right there. So you can quickly add new images to a gallery that you already have in your library. Okay, hopefully that was uh, straightforward for you all. I'm just looking at who's uh, in the chat. Jerry's saying hi from San Diego. Good to see you. Rick is asking a question. How many images are we allowed? Well... You can store as many JPEG images as you like on any SmugMug plan. There's unlimited uh, storage of your JPEGs on any of our plans. And if you want to store your raw files, then you would look at our, our add-on subscription service called SmugMug Source, where you can then upload your uh, raw images as well. Judy is joining us from Tampa in Florida. Hi, Judy. Hope it's nice and warm in Florida today. Right, let's go back to another new feature. Now, this new feature is for our pro subscribers only. So those of you who are on our pro plan, which is our top plan, get a new feature that is called client downloads. Um, client downloads is a new simple way to allow your clients to easily download individual images from your SmugMug site. Uh, any any gallery that you want to give them access to to download images. This is a very new tool to give a very simple way to download images for your clients. Now, the great thing about it is, yes, we already have downloading on SmugMug. I'm sure many of you are aware of that. You can create a gallery and activate the download button so that people have permission to download images when viewing that gallery. Now, the downside is that button is on for anybody who's viewing that gallery. So if you turn on the down button to allow your clients to download images, then anybody else who views that 
gallery can also download images. So we've built a new tool to allow you to just give uh, a link to certain people to download uh, without having to change any settings on the gallery, set up any passwords or permissions. It's just a very quick link to allow them to do it. And one other cool feature that we added to this is you can set how many images they're allowed to download. And this came about by a use case where we have we had customers come to us and say, you know, we you know, we sell packages to our, our clients where as part of the package, they're allowed two digital files from the entire gallery to download the high res file. But they didn't have a way that they could just allow them to just download those individual two pictures. We could either turn on downloading for the entire gallery or turn it off. So now this new tool will allow you to give an individual person access to download images and you can dictate how many images they can download. So this is our new client download feature that is available for our pro plan customers. So let's go back to this demo site and I will um, go to a gallery. So let's go to back to landscape galleries, which we were on earlier and the place where you will find this new client download feature um, is actually when you're viewing the gallery on the actual site. So we need to come out of the organizer and let's go over here to where it says view on site. So let's just go look at this gallery as we saw earlier on site. Now what I want you to look at is right up here in top right hand section of uh, the page just below uh, the Smug Mug Live logo up there are a lot of the settings when you're in your your site view of your page. Now, of course, only you see this when you're logged in. Your, your customers aren't going to see any of this when they come to visit your site. But we have this little um, overflow uh, menu item here, this little uh, overflow menu icon. And if I click on that icon, there's various different menu options to do here, some of which we've gone through in previous episodes. Um, and the new one is this new create client download feature. And if I click on that, uh, you'll see that this little pop up appears. And this is just for the gallery um, that we are viewing at the time that you click that button. So this is just for my landscape gallery. And what I can do is I can set a download limit. So I could either just create the link and they can download everything. Um, but if I click this little limit button here, I can then say with this specific link that I'm giving to this client, they can only download three images. Hopefully you can see that it's a pretty small number three there. Uh, see if I can zoom in. Yeah, it's, there you go. So I'm going to allow them to uh, download three images from this landscape gallery. And then all I have to do is generate this unique link. Now this link here, you have to basically copy that and give that to your clients. Your client would then use that link. So let's go to another page. I'm going to post that link. Um, and here you'll see that it's saying to the client that, you know, your your photographer has shared this gallery with you. But in this case, it has 21 photos and you can choose to download three photos from that gallery. If I hadn't given them a, a, a three image uh, limit, they could of course download all of them, but it's a super quick way to just then let people click images. So uh, this client wants these three images and you can see once I've clicked three, I can't click anymore. If they change their mind, of course, they can toggle it back off and change it to the maximum of three images in this case. So I want these three images to download. Once I've um, Chosen my images up here in the top right. I know it's hidden by our logo, folks. I'm sorry, but it says download those three items. I just click on that. And here you can see a little warning that we show your client just to get them to confirm these are definitely the three images because once they, they click continue, they won't be able to choose uh, different images. Um, yes, these are the three images I want. So I'm going to click continue to download. And it gives me an option to come back to this link uh, and download them later, or I can download them now and it'll generate a zip file and give me those three images. If I click download later, there you go. Shows me, if I come to this link, it will show me the three images that I've chose. And then I would just hit download 
and it will start to download those for me. So that is client download feature. Very, very simple, quick way uh, to let you uh, give your clients a download uh, link without creating anything specifically different on your uh, gallery. So I'm just, I'm reading this. So David has just written in. Thanks for your comment, David. It's perfect timing. Client download is exactly what I need for my equestrian event photography. Well, David, I hope, um, I hope you use this well. It's a very simple way. There's, as I say, you can d create uh, download, uh, downloadable galleries for your clients, but now you can just send specific clients a very quick link to let them get those images as quickly as possible and, of course, limit how many images your clients can download from that gallery. Okay, so I have one more item I want to show you. It's a very, very new feature. But before we do, I want to remind you all that one of the cool things uh, we work on here at Smug Mug, which is slightly... Um, separate from our, our core business is Smug Mug Films. It's a passion project where we create wonderful inspirational films about our favourite artists in the world um, and we are very honoured to work with some incredible photographers and we love to give you a little peek behind the curtain of, of their world. Uh, just a few weeks ago we released the latest um, in our series of One Day One Artist films where we spend one day with one of our photographers and, and kind of just give a little glimpse of what they do that day. You will find all those Smug Mug films here if you're watching us on YouTube just now on our YouTube channel at Smug Mug Films where you can watch all, all those films. But I'm just going to give you a slight tease of uh, the Chris Baradarius, the, the last film that we released. Um, and then I'll come back and show you this final uh, little tip that I've got to show you today. You ready? You ready to go for a hike? Huh? So come here. We got one day, so I mean, let's see, let's see what we get. We might get a good sunrise, I'm hyped. Oh. Oh my gosh, this background is insane. This sunrise is just incredible. Being out here in Oregon, it's, <laughs> you don't know when you're gonna get sun. My name is Christopher Valadares, and I'm a photographer. A little glimpse into that uh, film that we released a few weeks ago with Chris Valadares. So go check that out here on the YouTube channel if you want to see uh, some wonderful inspirational content from some of our favorite photographers. Uh, while I was playing that, this uh, very interesting question came in from Janet. Hi, Janet, thank you for your question. They say, is there a way to mask my account and only allow someone access to one gallery without being able to see my entire site? There, there actually is a way to do that. Um, so let me just give, uh, give you a little quick glimpse of how you can do that. So this is where we're assuming that um, you know, you have your Smug Mug site and you have lots of different galleries and you have your entire website, but you do maybe a, a job for a client that's completely different from, you know, all your other, other work. Um, or for whatever valid reason, you just don't want that client to see the rest of your presence online. Um, so you want to just give them a simple link to a gallery which doesn't have any of your customization or your design on your on your site. Uh, so let me just, uh, while, uh, while we're getting ready, just kind of reload this page so that I can demonstrate it correctly to you. Um, so let's jump back over here. So Janet, if, if, um, if you have a, a Smug Mug site already, um, then you probably in your organizer have lots of, of different content in there. You have your folders, you have all your, your existing galleries and pages of your website and you're wanting to create a gallery in here that when someone looks at it they don't see any of that other content uh, and there's a very simple way to do it let's assume this monochrome gallery is one that I want to send to someone but I don't want them to see any other of my content if I go into this uh, settings tab here while I'm on the gallery that you're specifically talking about 
and you click on settings and then go to the second tab down which is security and sharing on this specific gallery what you want to do is activate this section here that's called called hide owner um, and what that does is it turns off basically all of your website and makes it look like a, just a generic smug mug gallery so if i was to turn that on and hit save um, now, if I go view this gallery on my site, uh, you will see that it is just uh, that gallery um, with no uh, customization, no logos, none of my header, um, and even the the URL. If I can zoom in, can I zoom in on the URL? I can't, unfortunately. But if you if you look at the very top of the page, you'll see even the URL is masked, so it just shows a generic smug mug. Uh, URL um, so it hide owner literally masks out everything about your site and it's just delivers just purely that gallery to your clients um, so hopefully that Janet is um, exactly what you're looking for hopefully to uh, just get one gallery to your clients and not let them see anything else about you or about your existing site so hopefully that does the trick uh, and hopefully the rest of you now know what Hide Owner does on your on your site. Right, last little tip bit before I'm done and hopefully get this episode done in under 30 minutes, would, which would make a change because uh, I talk too much. So there's a new feature rolling out um, that is only going to be available to our portfolio and pro clients. Uh, so those of you on a portfolio or a pro plan, uh, some of you may have seen this already because it has been started to roll out. Some of you might not have access to this because or it's rolling out uh, via the engineering teams rolling this out as we speak and it might take a, uh, a few weeks uh, or more to get this out to 100% of you on our portfolio and pro plans. Uh, but let me jump over to this site. This is my uh, one of my own sites, not not the demo site because it's not actually active on my demo site yet. Um, but some of you may have noticed that when you're logged in and you're looking at a gallery on your site, we now have this new gallery engagement feature. So if I, uh, let's see, can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in on this page. But here, just above the logo on this page, you can see uh, a new section that says view gallery engagement uh, as I say, this is a new feature just rolling out, uh, just uh, active to some of you at the moment as we catch up with everybody. But if you click on this gallery engagement link, you will now see specific stats just for this gallery. Just a very quick way to let you instantly see the stats on a gallery when you're looking at it. Um, and the the stats uh, at the moment are, are, are kind of fairly minimal just to get this uh, out there. Uh, here you can see this gallery has been viewed 770 times uh, by 121 uh, gallery visitors. So this is uh, unique visitors to your site, not including yourself. So when you're logged in, you will not count as a visitor. Um, but this, so I can tell looking at that, this gallery that since this, um, feature has been active on my site since February, uh, 121 people have looked at this gallery 770 times. Um, so they've been back, uh, about seven times each, um, to, to look at this gallery. If I go to the organizer, uh, you will also see this if I click on, uh, a gallery. So if I open this gallery here, you will also see in the organizer uh, the similar feature. So this gallery is clearly not as popular as uh, the, the previous one um, because it's only had three views since it was activated. Um, really quick way to let you see that engagement on your galleries. One of the big benefits this is going to do for us is really give us an insight into which of our galleries are performing best, what work, uh, people are attracted to on your site uh, and allow you to very quickly make some assumptions about maybe how you present your work, um, how much content you have there um, and yeah just give you a very quick insight into uh, how you how each of your galleries are doing and this is just a starting point. Uh, we have other plans uh, for this feature. Um, next in line is probably um, most popular photo within that gallery. 
Um, the, the team's still working on exactly all the various things that this new tool is going to do. But this is a, a really good starting point, a uh, good foundation for us to give you uh, a gallery level uh, stats tool that when you're in a gallery, you can look at that gallery, see how popular it is, see what images are popular. We'll probably add you know other features to it down the line. Um, and yeah, just let you make assumptions about, you know, and as I say, it's for uh, portfolio and pro clients. So this is really for our customers who are selling images. So, uh, you know, stats are important to let you know which images are performing well, uh, which images you maybe, or which galleries you may maybe want to um, surface, you know, quicker on your site because they're performing best. Um, so yeah, that's the, the gallery uh, stats engagement tool. A uh, question came in from Nick. Let's see what Nick's saying. Hi, Nick, good to see you again. Are, are the gallery level stats automatically going to be switched on for us or do we need to do anything? No, they will automatically appear on your your site. So Nick, uh, unfortunately, maybe you don't have it yet if you haven't seen it. Um, you don't have to do anything. As long as you're on a portfolio or pro plan uh, over the coming weeks, uh, this will be rolling out to 100% of our portfolio and pro plans. Um, as I say, I don't even have it on my demo site yet. I had to switch to one of my other accounts that I had the, the team um, make sure it had uh, that feature rolled out because it, it's very early, very early stages of this being rolled out. So don't don't be surprised if you don't see it yet. But um, glad uh, glad you're you're already wanting to know when you'll get it. So yeah, uh, it's fabulous. Hope you it makes uh, good use of it. Uh, Nick, hope it's of benefit to you. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is the three things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to ask you a big favor, as always, you know, hit that subscribe button if you're watching me on YouTube, hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever we release another episode of Smug Mug Live or indeed Smug Mug Films. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, all I have for you today, thank you so much. Uh, oh, we have one last question coming in. Jerry just squeezed in there. Um, question, does SmugMug offer any master classes or similar to learn how to best to set up, manage one site and page? Uh, Jerry, we do have um, sort of monthly webinars uh, with our account managers team. Um, they will uh, hopefully have reached out to you when you first uh, started your uh, trial with us or indeed when you signed up. Um, but if you were to reach out to our customer support team, um, the best team, I always say this, the best team at SmugMug, our customer support team, if you reach out to them uh, via email at help at smugmug.com, um, ask them about information of when the next webinar is, uh, they will get you some details for that and they'll be able to share the link with you. Um, and where... Uh, a couple of our account managers will give you uh, a really good run through. And of course, SmugMug Live has a lot of content. This is episode 119. So if you go to YouTube, yes, you are watching us on YouTube, Jerry, go to uh, this channel, look at the playlist that says SmugMug Tips and Tricks. Uh, and that's all the tips and, tips and tricks episodes. We'll, t we'll talk you through pretty much everything that our SmugMug site can do. I've been doing these for two years now. So um, yeah, jump in there and, and check out all that content. Right, I have to wrap it up. That's us coming up to our 30 minute mark. I said I would try and beat it, but thank you so much for joining us today as always. Uh, wherever you are in the world, continue to stay safe, be kind, look after each other. And we'll see you back here again for another episode of Smug Mug Live very soon. Thanks everybody. Take care, bye.